I hope. Hey, I'm down the street. No. <laughs> I got you. And what's today? The 28th. It has been 10 days since my last new follower. Uh -huh. I know, I know. Fresh, fresh. Bono now. Bono. Oh yeah, I'm ready. I thought you were still stuck on that popsicle, you know? The median age for a first time home buyer was 27 in 1997. Today it's 34. Shit, I want to be behind that curve. I mean, everything that would be said has already been said, and it's like, yeah, we know. Yep. Does this one have the hole in the middle? Oh wait, what's reverberation? Uh, yeah. Another concert? Hmm. Wait, what's the difference? Stagger is like how much health you have, right? And then... Yeah. Should have gotten Juno then. Yes, they definitely did. Holy fucking hell, dude. I prefer if you just fuck off, honestly, dude. I'm just clearing the path to victory. Mm hmm
Oh, come on. For a new defender. get one at least, right? Oh, fuck. Fuck me. I had my old and I like playing flip. Two more seconds. Right. Just want to replay the cover. How could you? Holy shit.
yes. Okay. No! <laughs> Better than Kai, huh? Uh, yeah, I'll just stick with these games and then uh, I'll let you know once we finish. Yeah, sounds good. All right, talk, talk to you in a bit. Bye. Yeah, I'm good. Sorry, did I just that was I yelling while the mic was on me? Okay, perfect. Sorry. Alright, cool, perfect. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes. Oh fuck, fuck, fuck. Fine. Oh my god, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. <laughs> Matt, double check your audio. Amanda oh, can't hear you. Teach me how to play. Oh fuck me. On my mark, everyone. Yep. Yep. There it is. Sorry about that. To whomever walked through. They just hate. Ah, oh, that's why I know this game is the fucking map that I love. Bitch, Centaro. Fuck me. <laughs> Mark and why are we on him? I don't know. Who's Mark? Oh, what is it? Ah, on the mark, yeah. I guess. I think. No, 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 no. It's one of the characters.
Uh, she says, on the mark, sigh. You know, game, the game. Let's go. Doing a good job. Fucking hell. Oh. Beautiful Matt, Amanda I'm still can't hear you. They can. There. Alright, let me double check the party. It's checked. Good job, Satara. Fuck the slimes, I swear to god. Nah, we can That's do That's such horseshit, dude. The slime should just shoot straight. It redirected into the corner for no reason. Oh my god, I hate the slimes. They're so random. Like, had the slime just shot straight at the goal, I probably could have made the save. But I couldn't because it shot behind me. Like, as yeah. if it was a player with fucking 100 IQ making the move. Fuck. Tomorrow, go fuck yourself! Ah! I <laughs> hate all Juno users besides Steven. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it. Fuck Juno, man. One more time. I need to do something with them slimes. Oh, see this one's yeah, that one's given. Yeah, this <clears throat> one shoots straight, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That's why I was like, I saw the play and I was already too far and I'd already used my boost. And I was like, yeah, this, that one's it. I can't even. Bitch too much. Oh, of course I put the orb stuff back to back. I can't really fuck with it though. Mm -hmm. Oh, cause I don't have what I need. Do quick strike. This one's something that hit, allows me to hit harder. I mean, Last cannon, my best bet. Mm, you're gonna get hit so often though, big fish. Alright. Surviving. Fair, yeah. fun, and balanced, smiley face. <laughs> right. <laughs> ah. Big fish all nicely works out for you because size impacts the circle around you when you go to do things, yeah. and your circle ability gets bigger when you are uh, bigger in size. <clears throat> like how me and that other fucking guy had the exact same idea. And we like, oh, power shot right here would be actually really good. Okay. Okay. Are you fucking kidding Just me? Just put <laughs> 50 slimes in front of the net. And that's all you gotta do? Oh, that's all that I ever need. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about. I'd rather fight an X than like today. an Amy or something. X Dubu, like a. Rather than fucking Zentaro with his bullshit. Any day. And fucking. Zentaro is a good day. Yeah. And. Okay. And Juno, <laughs> or whatever the fuck. God. Damn, if she wasn't so adorable. So, actually. I don't mind Juno's randomness. I do. As a goalie, I do. As a goalie, yeah, I kind of mind it. Oh, what a fuck boy. Fuck, man. I should have fucking... I, I, fuck. I misplayed that. It's all good. Oh... You know, why are you down here? Why are you coming down here for? Bitch. Get this out of here. Come 
thrusting on. I had to get in front of hey, the slime. Brodo, and hey, welcome what's back. Dude? What's up, Roto? Watching us lose super hard. Yeah, it's been a toughie. Been a toughie. Now they give me orb you know, replicator. That would've been great. Too late now. Special hit takes the back from harder and heals more. Let's just do that. Fuck it. Can't think of anything else I want. Damn, hard special's pretty good. But uh, Amanda says, you know, has to be God tier and competitive too. She gets banned all the time. Because she's too, too good. good and plus random is always broken. Yeah, yeah. She is, she's, she's, cause I think each team can pick to ban one character. And yeah. it's usually Juno and X. Because X's whole playstyle is just punch you in the face. And then you, you've seen Juno. Yeah, random is always not fun. It was my least favorite thing to deal with in Hearthstone, too. I mean, random make or break you. Fuck it. Fuck. Well done. It's honestly, a, it, it's not like a huge deal in Pokemon, but it is a pretty big deal in competitive Pokemon too. Um, critical hits are obviously like the, the first thing that comes to mind, but then you have like secondary uh, effects of moves. So like Psychic has, I think a 30% chance or 10% chance to drop special defense one tier. I only cut what I might. Uh, that puck get caught in the corner for you as well. Mm, no, it just hit okay. and it hit, went straight to the corner. So on my screen, it got stuck in the corner, this lower corner right here. It stayed here, and yeah. then the next second, it was in the goal. So, like, I never got the chance to play in 7 2. <clears throat> um, but yeah, secondary effects, like, obviously, like, fire moves have a chance to burn almost all the time. Uh, if you get that burn chance, it's pretty, pretty gnarly. Uh, even things like paralysis, you par paralyze an, an opponent, there's a, I want to say like 33% chance that they will just not be able to move that turn. <clears throat> On top oh, of like man. the permanent effect of they are slower. Like their their speed's dropped, and then again there's that chance of not being able to make a move. And then you have like sleep and frozen, which completely make a, a Pokemon not able to move. But for how many turns? It could be, you know... There's a guaranteed one turn of sleep, and that, but it could go all the way up to like five turns. That Pokemon could take five turns to, to wake up. Um, usually a death sentence. Um, yeah. Then there's like confusion, which is a 50-50 shot to just punch yourself in the face. Also, so, I'm kind of good on this. Honestly. Yeah, I feel. But that. uh, Amanda said, though it's the video game classic, you have to play your outs and sometimes you just lose because haha random you yeah. gotta play to your outs yep i mean that's it i mean if you're the better player i mean even with the random you can help play your opponent mm -hmm. it's not entirely up to chance <sighs> want to play a little bit of stardew um yeah yeah i'll do a little bit Nah. I don't know. I don't know. I love Harvest Moon Four. There Good. Amanda. Should. Did you, uh, did you ever play Harvest Moon, Amanda? The, uh, at least, like, A Wonderful Life or Friends of Mineral Town? I remember playing What's It Called. I think it was Mineral Town. I just remember it being very simplistic. Yeah. And we were able to just... Whenever it was winter, we crossed the river to the, the cave and we made bank. Yeah, I think it's been a long time. I haven't played it since I was a kid. I know they remade it, but I haven't played the remake. 
I mean, I don't plan on to either. Motherfucker. 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 Well, I'll say Wonderful Life has been really fun. No, this is just the perfect game to fucking chill out to at the end. I'm saying. <sighs> I don't need no more stress. For real. Mm. I guess I'll cheat my stream name one more time. Five hundred golden clothes. Oh boy. Yeah, I just think my my Xbox is just just not wanting to work. Yeah, I mean, I had that because... the other day with Diablo. Everything just decided to fuck up all at once. Like, you know what'd be great if we didn't? Shit, right? I was over here tearing bed up. Give him a left. Give him a right. Yeah. Alright, the only thing I've been doing is giving gifts. My man asks, says, Steven, tell us about some crazy patient you had. <laughs> I mean, this wasn't when I was in, uh, what's it called? And, um, when I wasn't an EMT, but I was still working in a hospital as a nurse's aide, I guess you'd call. But, um, but, um, yeah, there was one patient, dementia, he had, he had like UTI and all that stuff, so his head wasn't really working. And so I just kept telling him, like, hey, you need to stop doing stuff. And he was like, you can't tell me how to live my life. And came to a point where he just started to call me a Nazi. I was like, hi, <laughs> um, excuse me, but no. What? But like, I mean, <laughs> yeah, he's like, this Nazi over here just doesn't want to let me do anything. I'm like, Yo, okay. let's go. Oh god! Fucking names, but call you that. That's so stupid. But then I was like, yeah, whatever. Okay, and then did my job. Ah! What do you mean? I'm talking to him. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm right in front of him. Uh -huh. This bullshit. Uh huh. I'm just saying, bro. You be snooping through some me. garbage. Huh, That's huh. all I'm saying. I didn't even you just know. Just be snooping. Snooping. I didn't even know into their Snooping. Fuck, that means I gotta warp you more for sale. Snooper. Um, anyways, yeah. But then after a while, we just. After a while, he got better. And he just stopped, like. All that jazz. So I was like, cool. And he started calling me his brother. I'm like, word. So. Yeah, your Nazi and his brother? Yeah, something like that. That's, uh, interesting. Okay, well, he's already done. Efficient multitasking. Hmm. That's it? That's all you gotta say, bro? You want a diamond? So, the, uh, you know, fucking... Uh, hey, no, that's uh, customer cool. stories, since we, we started talking a little yesterday. Seems the trend oh, yeah. right now, uh, with us. So I had the one of the, I got two really really interesting ones, but I'll tell yeah I'll just tell one for now. Um, so there was I was working late that night. It was so if you close the store, uh, store closed at ten most days, uh, and you stayed there till like eleven twelve o'clock at midnight, and uh, <clears throat> unless it was winter, then it was earlier. But so the way the my department was set up was when I, I would come from the back and if I looked down one my aisle where the toilets were there was another set of aisles in front of that that were like lighting because my actual rough plumbing stuff like my pipes and fittings and everything were off cat kind of catty corner from where the faucets toilets and showers stuff was and uh, they weren't like perfectly lined up so I, I was kind of like also electrical because it was right there well mm -hmm. I go down my aisle and I can see down where some of the lighting is, and there's a woman down there. Um, this might be like 9.30. Store's gonna close soon. And this woman is very obviously stealing a, a something, I think. 
um i don't know i think it was like an exit sign or something like uh one of those you full-on exit just an exit sign yeah like you would put it you know like places have to emergency exit and uh you know so she's trying to stuff it in her purse and like i see her i caught her now i don't give a fuck right it's not my sign it's not it's not even my department i really don't give a fuck but like i gotta i gotta go at least like walk by and say hi the part yeah right i gotta because to deter theft just give them customer service and then they'll start getting nervous and blah. so i gotta do that and i'm like hey you help anything and this girl's like yeah i was starting this this hairdresser business or something and need to need uh some like emergency signs for it the fire chief came down and said i need emergency signs i was like okay yeah I was like, you know, what, what do you need to know about them? And she's like, well, I mean, like how they install. And I talked about it a bit. And but, oh, that's 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 good. And uh, she's like, do you, do you guys have anyone to install it? I was like, no, we don't. That's not a service we offer. Um, if you had like a ceiling fan in a residential uh setting, sure, but we don't do anything like that. Said, well, what if what if you came and did it? And I was like, well, I can't, cause like. You know, I kind of made up some mumbo jumbo about a conflict of interest with the hardware store, and if I did installs, like there would be a problem. And and it would be true if they <laughs> offered that kind of thing, but they don't. Like water heaters, the guy got caught installing water heaters, but the company installs water heaters, so they fired him for it because you know conflict of interest. But in this situation, it really wasn't any. And uh, she's like, oh well. I mean, you come install it. Like, I won't tell anybody. And I was like, nah, nah, I don't. I'm not really willing to, willing to risk my job for that. And uh, she's like, well, I mean, what if like you were just friends? You know, you come come to help me. You know, do something as my friend. What the fuck? And I was like, well, I don't know you like that. You know. And she's like, well, what if, what if we were dating? And I was like, well, that's what the fuck. Also, like, I don't know. And she's like, what you? You don't think I'm I'm pretty? And I was like, well, now it's awkward. <laughs> now I'm really freaking out. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm like, well, you know, it's it's. I just I'm not really trying to do all that. And she's just like, I mean, what if I just asked you? Today? And I was like, well, I'm good. You know, I'm kind of just working. You know, I'm okay. And like, she was like, oh, well, okay. And I put the sign back on the shelf and walked away all huffy. Because I wasn't, I was like, I guess I offended her by rejecting her. But the only reason she's asking is because she's trying to steal a sign and I caught her. And she's trying to fucking get on my good side or something. But I didn't give a yeah. fuck that she stole. Like, I was like, whatever, dude. Like, <laughs> I guess I deterred the theft at least. Real but... quick, Amanda said with, uh, at the start, she should have said no, I'm... I'm stealing. No need to help me at that point. <laughs> right. I guess she thought maybe because the... it was kind of far away that I didn't see her at first or something. Probably. But then the other part is, uh, the fuck, Matt? <laughs> the porn you watched last night? Why are you telling us that? <laughs> Why am I giving you the plot to that? No, I know. <laughs> Gosh, I could have could have come up with something more original. <laughs> no, but that was a crazy one. I had, a, I had to go take a break after that. I was like, yeah, I'm door is about to close. I don't really want to talk to any more customers. I think I'm good. Whew! Oh, I still need to go talk to Leia, but uh, what does Clinton like? I have no idea. Do you take diamonds? Probably. This is a fun gift. He says thanks. There you go. I had another one kind of on the opposite end of the spectrum for that story. Uh... So one of the services we offered for free was pipe cutting and threading. Um, oh, ho, ho. specifically you don't need to ask for this one. Oh, you don't need to pay for this one. Yeah. Specifically, only uh, black iron and galvanized metal pipes. So. Hold on. Um, Amanda said, "What else did she do? Play with her hair?" And, probably, uh, I think so. Bite her lip a little bit. Yeah, she was trying. Say, can, is there any other way I could pay for this <laughs> while winking? Yeah, obviously. I mean, that you know how it is. 
That's how. That's that. That that, that that's what happened. Um, it's true. You know it Completely factual story. Not from a porno. Obviously. This time. <laughs> so. This time. Nah, I'm fucking 100. percent That fucking happened. So the the pipe threading. To so galvanize and black iron metal pipes. That's it. For a few reasons. One, um, you can't really thread PVC, uh, or copper, or PEX, or CPV. You can't thread anything. So, and the machine is specifically designed for those things. You can't like, you don't want to be cutting other stuff because it fucks with the blades and fucks with the 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 clamps. So yeah, I mean, one purpose, one purpose only. Black iron galvanized. Those those are the two pipes, and they're pretty much the exact same pipe. But they're just different material. So, there, this guy came in, and he's got a uh, configuration of black iron pipes. And it goes to this, I want to say like gas system, because um, that's what black iron is normally used for. And he wants it completely rebuilt. He brings it in. It's, it's I mean, it's a whole bunch of pipes. It's He's got to carry this in both hands. Like, it's very long, and uh, kind of just sets it down on the floor in the middle of the aisle. I want to rebuild. That's okay. He didn't take any measurements on the stuff. He didn't have this shit ready. He expected me to take measurements and everything. So, the fun thing about pipes is that because the the way they work in the fittings, you can't just if they're all put together still, you can't just measure like end to end on a on a pipe with the fittings because the thread in the pipe threads into the fitting. There's something called takeoff that you have to account for when you have the um, thing. It's it's a whole bunch of math that's not as simple as reading a tape measure. It doesn't work that way. You have to do like the length minus the takeoffs, which you have to know from the size of the pipe and the material. It's a process. So I'm working on it. And it's taking a while. It's going to take a long time. The guy didn't come in with anything other than the pipes. So I cut the first one. Now, I didn't do the math. I just was going to cut it and... As long as he wasn't trying to be absolutely fucking pristine perfect, it's fine. It's it the system can will still work. There's probably lots of space. What he's trying to do, it's probably under a house. Not a huge deal if it's not exact. So the first, I think the first pipe I cut was slightly too long, which is fine. I can still cut it. I can you can cut the pipe even further. But he leaves. Yeah, better long than, than short. Right. Short. Yeah. I mean, you're not fucking. Yeah. It, it doesn't work otherwise. So, there's also another small thing just to add complexity to this. Our pipes are sold in certain lengths. So if, like, I to try and save you money, if you need a a four foot piece cut and a five foot piece cut, instead of getting like a two six foot sticks, I'm gonna get a ten foot stick and cut both those sizes out of that stick. Yeah. So there's a lot going into this. And I was just about to go to lunch. I swear, I just told the next department over, I was like, I'm going to lunch. Then my call button rang, and I was like, I'm going to go to lunch after this. After I answer this call. So I was already like, I'm hungry. So I get in, get the first pipe cut, a little too long. I set it down. Right then he comes back around. That's right when he comes back. Because he set it on the floor and walked away. He's like, I got to go shop for other stuff. Comes back, and he's like, bro, this one's too long. And I said, yeah, I just set it down and saw it was too long. I was going to see about shortening it. And uh, he goes off. He gets extremely irate. Um, gets in my face saying, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And he needs to go get fucking... He name drops a manager. He name drops that same manager from my last story who we called uh, Timmy. Yeah, name drops that oh, guy. God. So he's like, do I need to go get Timmy? Do I need Timmy over here and make you do your job right? And going off. And I'm composed. Oh like God. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to smile first of all, and I'm really trying not <laughs> to hit this guy. And uh, I'm, I'm just standing there. I'm just, I'm staring him in the face, and he's just in my face. And uh, I didn't say a word. And he just gets all fucking furious and uh, ends up walking away after I didn't say anything. And uh, I was like, all right, cool, you know. And uh, I was like, I'm gonna go to lunch. But before I go to lunch, because <laughs> uh, I'm obviously not helping this motherfucker anymore, um, I'm going to take the pipe that he left in the middle of my aisle, and uh, I think I'm going to throw it in the dumpster. And I did just that. So. Wow, this guy. He had no measurements for his pipe. He didn't know how long he, you know, what he needed. He didn't know shit. 
So, yeah. I don't know how he figured out what he was supposed to do. Um, but, yeah, his, uh, his, his pipes went, went in the trash that day. And he, I guess, had to go back and measure all the pipes that he was now going to need cut. And, and then uh, was like, this is why you need a taser. For real. And, because uh, I remember he walked away and some customers were there and they were like, you know, they were like, oh my god, good on you for, like, being so composed and blah, blah, blah. And it was like, um, you know, it was like, you, you didn't have to deal with that. You know, you could have, and I was like, no, nah, it's all good. It's all good. I'm going to take a shit and throw it away. And I did. <laughs> and then uh, when I went to lunch, somebody said he came back looking for his pipes. And uh, they were like, I don't know. We don't know where they are. Because I didn't tell anyone I threw it away. I just threw it away. You don't want anybody else to know what you did. Yeah, no. I'm no one. I got more of these fucking stories, man. I fucking I got another quick one. Fucking, I was it, I was working at appliance parts place. This guy comes in and he needs a bake element for his oven. And I was like, cool. Do you have a model number off the oven? Nope. Do you have the maybe your old one? Nope. Oh, okay. You know what brand it was? Nope. I I have like 200 different heating elements in the store, bro. And that's just what I have like right now. I can get you more. So I'm going to need some information. He's like, no, 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 just bring me one. It's kind of shaped like this, like an M or something. And I was like, they're all shaped like M's, buddy. That's by default. Like, it, that's not the problem here, motherfucker. It's a whole bunch of other stuff. So go back there. And he's like, well, bring me, bring me them. And I was like, I'm not bringing all 200 up here. And he's like, bring me a common one. So I bring him a common one. And he's like, yeah, yeah, that's it. And I was like, I bet. Because it looks like the other 30 M-shaped ones that I have in the exact same section. So uh, he buys it. Now, here's the thing. Ele electrical stuff, non-returnable. Period. It's no excuse. We have signs in the store everywhere. I mean, I'm saying big signs, bigger than you, like hanging up all over this fucking store. You can't walk in the store without passing that sign. It's the first thing you see when you open the door. It's the first thing you see when you walk up to the counter. It's the first thing you see when you turn around from the counter. And it's the first thing you see when you walk towards the exit door. I swear to you, we had like 15 of these signs in the small S store. There is no excuse for not knowing what's returnable and not returnable. Because the sign says return policy. That's all it said on it. And it was like, one, we don't take open shit back. Like, two, whatever, but in special order stuff. And like, finally, we don't take, like, all in bold red letters, bigger than anything else, electrical returns, nada. I forget exactly what it said. But it was like, we don't take any electric back, period. Um, hey, reach 10 heart level with 8 people. Let's go. Congratulations. Woo! By the way, Amanda said, oh no, Matt. Got the retail vent Wednesday. <laughs> Virus, we can't it's, save her. It's so... 100% get that, though. Tell us some more. I am entertained. Hell yeah. Good, I'm glad. I'm really glad. Um, so this heat and element guy. So he buys the element. I told him, hey, just so you know, because we like to warn people. It's a non-returnable item. And, uh... God damn, do we argue and argue with motherfuckers over if it's returnable or not. Well, it didn't fix my issue. Well, it sounds like you diagnosed it wrong. Well, it's broken. Well, we'll give you another one, but it's going to be a warranty exchange. Like, yeah, it didn't work. So, comes back the next day. And now... now I want to return. Yeah. For reference, basic heating elements like the one he purchased is about $30. Um, so, he comes back the next day with the old one. Took it out of the bag and everything. Tried to install it. Right away, we can't take it back. On those factors. But not ignoring that, it's electrical. Can't take it back. You can plug that bitch in and give it power. That's electrical. So I say, well... So first he comes up. And I guess... Um, I thought fucking Alex was on a Segway shirtless in his room. It's a dumbbell. But he had it on the floor. Um, I was like, this is a weird kink. Um... He comes up now. I guess I I don't I, I wasn't wearing a hat that day, or and I was the day before because he starts venting to me about the terrible customer service he had the day before, which was me. Oh my so god! So he's bitching about me to me, which surprisingly <laughs> enough is the second time that's ever happened to me. Um, I can tell that story too, but that's you know down the line. But so this guy is venting all about how I didn't know what I was talking about. 
and fucking didn't want to help him and was giving him a hard time. All the fucking things, right? All the all the bitching. And uh, I was like, damn, bro, that sucks. And this time, right, he brought his old element with him. And I was like, oh, well, since you brought the old element, it's no problem. If you ever have this problem, you just bring us the old element. We can match it up, no problem. You know, fucking really hammering it home to him. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So go get the element from the back. Now I found one. Perfect, right? And I was like, cool. It's not a common one. It's not going to be 30 bucks. I told him that from the get-go. I said, well, it just, I can tell by the shape it's not one of the common ones. Probably going to be a bit more expensive. He said, that's fine, that's fine. I don't care about the cost. Okay. So, he goes, uh, I get up there, and I start putting in the item number on it. And, uh, you know, we're at a computer at a counter. He can't see what the fuck I'm doing. And I see that this element runs about 50 bucks. And I was like, damn. This thing's 50 bucks. He just paid 30. You know, he's gonna... About 20 bucks. And I was like, you know what? He's kind of a cocksucker. <laughs> I'm thinking this element costs $100. So I... Jesus Christ. <laughs> changed the fucking... He was a cocksucker! I don't want to hear it! I changed the price <laughs> on that motherfucker. And he walked out that store paying a hundred dollars for that element so fuck him he shouldn't have been a fucking douche i don't give a fuck you know sue me 50 bucks spent on being an asshole that's the asshole charge that's what he paid that's the asshole tax yeah that's all he had to fucking pay he all he had to do was not be a cunt and i if he would have walked out of there fucking giving me 20 bucks because he already paid 30 for the element that I shouldn't have taken back but I did anyway because fuck him. <laughs> back. So yeah, that motherfucker walked out spending $100 and he was like, are you sure? And I was like, that's what it says. And he's like, really? And he's paused. He really, and it took everything for me not to start laughing. Because like, oh I was like, God, I hope this goes through. I hope he doesn't just walk away saying, oh, I'm not paying that much or nothing. Because he said money's no issue. And, uh, nah, he, uh, after some deliberation and some, some real heart to heart with his wallet, he, he gave up a hundred bucks. So, real quick, Amanda's like, but do you guys take electronics back? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, but Amanda also says, uh, the whole venting about the person beforehand, uh, that happens so often, I felt... That's so much. Really? That's fucked. Yeah, they did. They, you're just a faceless fucker to them. They don't even think that, like, you're the same guy that they just dealt with the day before. Because they don't remember who you are. They don't give a fuck. You know, you're just you're just the guy with the, the, the colored shirt that's the color of the store. Like, they don't care. Or the guy with the hat. Or the guy with the, the guy hat. I the wasn't hat. wearing a hat the next day or some shit. I don't know. But, yeah, he didn't recognize me. So, yeah, but he was... And the other part is um when it's like this is so this is fucking illegal one two you are care. awful three fuck yeah fuck him suck my retail worker That's imagine what I'm saying. <laughs> i don't give a fuck about it i don't i didn't tell a soul no i mean you guys are the first ones ever but i never mentioned anything to this motherfucker to anybody in the store i never said like oh i got one over on this guy i didn't say Anything. I just let it happen. I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mention it. Oops. Fuck that guy. He was an ass. <clears throat> the other time someone, like, didn't know that they were complaining about me to me. Um, it's working back at, at the hardware store. Lowe's. And, uh, guy comes in and he's buying a shower door. Now, you know, here's a little tidbit. When you go to buy a shower door, you measure the space that the shower door is gonna occupy. That that's it. It's just the the width, the height. That's all you need. And uh, he uh, he told. So I assume you know, guy came in with measurements. I was like, cool. So he says, I said, so what's the space the door is going into? He said, well, it's about 28 inches. I was like, oh, it's a small one. I was like, sure. You know, so when you have a such a small space. You're going to have, the only option you really have is a pivot door. Something that opens, like, you know, the door to your house. That You, know, you can't do a sliding yeah, door. In, me, yeah. yeah, you can't do a sliding door in that space because there's no space. So, I 
sold him. So, you know, he was there. I sold him the door. Gave him the door. And uh, I was like, yep, this is your door, man. Pivot door, 28 inches. And, you know, they're adjustable within, like, 2 or 3 inches. So it's, like, 26 to 29 mm-hmm. inches. Fit perfect. No problem. And he saw the display of kind of what it looked like. You know, it was a pivot door. He saw exactly what it was. He's like, all right, cool. No problem. Gets home. Calls the store some amount of time later, an hour or two later. And he's like, um, well, it's his wife that, that calls. And she's like, hey, we were in there, um, and the guy sold us the wrong door. I was like, okay, no problem. Now, I don't know who they are at this point. I'm like, so what mm-hmm. What, do you, what do you got? And um, I can hear him in the background. He's opened the box at this point, And he's like, there's just mm-hmm. one fucking door in here. I had two doors. He's freaking out. And she's like, babe, I'm talking to the guy. I'm talking to the guy. And uh, she's like, yeah, we got one door. And it's, it's it's the door. I mean, it's the right size, but there's only one. And I was like, well, what size is it? 28. And that's when I that's when I clicked. And I was like, okay, I know who you are. And because uh, she was in there with them. And I was like, so what do you have, like two doors? Do you, do you have a sliding door set up? And she's like, yeah, we have a sliding door set up. I was like, so that 28 is just the, the measurement of one door then, right? You have two doors at 20 inches? She's like, yeah, yeah. And uh, at this point, like, the guy can hear me, too, I'm pretty sure. I think she put me on speaker. I was like, okay, so here's the thing about shower doors. you got to measure the space, not the door. If you measure the door, you know, that doesn't give us anything. And she's like, oh, that makes sense, you know, if you measure the space. And I was like, yeah, so if, um, you probably have, I mean, with 28-inch doors, you probably have about a 60-inch space. It's very, very standard for, for most walk-in showers and tubs. It's tub size, as we call it. 60 inches. Mm-hmm. It, and, uh... The guy's like, so the guy's in the background, I can hear him, he starts yelling towards me, and uh, he's like, fucking that's, you know, that's what I'm talking about, you know your shit, the other guy I was talking to in the store, I don't even know his name, he <laughs> fucking didn't know anything, fuck him, and I was like, yeah, 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 yeah that's cool, I was like, I'm sorry, you know, it happened that way, that, uh, you know, some people just don't know, and, uh, he's like, yeah, you know, what's, what's your name, so I know to ask for you, and I was like, Josh? <laughs> he's like all right josh man you're the man all right when i come back i'm gonna ask to see you i was like go for it man remember just josh and plumbing and he's like yeah and uh <laughs> i'm not gonna tell him my name because he's gonna come back oh and he's gonna see me he's gonna put some pieces together he's gonna feel like a dumbass hey i don't know what he's gonna do if he feels like a he dumbass he's already like a dumbass, a dumbass. Like, I don't know, you know, fucking, I'm not telling you my name's Matt, and then you ask for Matt, and here I come strolling up, and you're like, not this cocksucker, and I'm like, I was talking to you on the phone. Oh my God. I'm not doing all that. Uh, Amanda's like, yeah, fuck that Matt guy. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Fuck that Matt guy. We're not, we're not dealing with him today. But yeah, that was, uh, that was the other time I got unrecognized, I guess. Me. Rice pudding. Let's go. Dude, what the fuck? Oh. Motherfucker. Okay. What? Me? Watering the grass in rain? Why? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Is that the kind of shit you do? I need to go talk to fucking Leo. I keep forgetting about them. Leo and Wizard, and I don't know who else gives me the last recipes any, but those are the two that I'm focusing on. Leo, Wizard. I've tried talking to Krobus, but like I just am not getting hearts with him. Give him gifts. Give him the void eggs. Ah, uh, fuck him. I think next. I currently have two hearts with him. Yeah, I had a heart, but like I didn't talk to him for like a day. He was like, he hates me. And I hate him. <laughs> So I got another, another store. That's cool. I don't want to just talk your ear off. Ears. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm out of this video, actually. There's a couple of emotes. It's like a pair of hands, and then there's a football, and it's the hands catching the football. Oh, interesting. But all three different emotes. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. I like that. It's Let me. S- like I could probably go to your chat, actually. Yeah. Uh, it's B. Your B.
Oh. Yeah. And now there's echo because I'm hearing myself on the thing. There are many mysteries. Cool. This is fucking illegal. You are awful. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it can be illegal. That's fine. They don't need to worry about it. Yeah, that. I'm not worried about it. I mean, talking about illegal shit, I mean, there's been multiple times I've done illegal shit. I feel like the stakes are higher with you, though. Oh, yeah, 100%. I mean, my company would probably fire me for it, though. Oh, and you're still working for that company, so maybe we should have mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. My thing is company I worked for, like, years ago. That is true. <sighs> so, yeah, I'll keep my mouth shut about it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Work vent Wednesday, let's go. <laughs> Um, fuck, I was trying to remember the one I just fucking was about to talk about. Uh, mm. oh, so, um, you sell water heaters, right? Not hot water heaters, they're not called hot water heaters. You don't heat hot water, it's already hot. But we sold water heaters. Um, and sometimes when they came in, they got dented or something. Now, water heater that's dented is not compromised as long as dent's not serious and it's not like split anywhere. It's fine. Dent to the exterior of the tank's not a big deal. So we'd sell them at a reduced price. Reduced price would be like, it's irrelevant. It's not a big deal. So, um, now, the way we stored them, we would have the water heaters on the shelf and everything. And then we have a bunch up top that either were not sold that often or were extra stock. And if they were sold up top, on the second shelf, they would have labels on the shelf itself telling you that um, what the price was. And the other, you know, information model number and all that stuff. So, if we had any reduced price, we'd put them on the floor out of the box and we had a yellow sticker that said reduced on it and then the price like what it was and what it is the item number model number stuff like that um so i can already tell what the moral of the story is this yeah don't be don't be a dick um motherfuckers can't read it's i i wish it was as simple as motherfuckers uh -oh. can't read so this guy comes in now one of the water we had a water heater on the floor completely in the box with no reduce tag on it, that was a return. Now the returns, you know, they come back. Either I go get them from the front desk, or the front desk it sends someone just to push it to the aisle. It's my responsibility to put the returns up. So I have to, mm -hmm. you know, but it takes power equipment. I'm gonna do it tonight. I'm gonna leave it there, for, you know, and just get it tonight. Like when the store closes, it's easier to do power equipment stuff when there's no customers. So I go to, um, I'm just leaving. Well, this guy comes in. I've seen him around. I know he's like a contractor. He installs these things. Um, and he wants to know the price on this, this one water heater that's on the floor. I was like, oh, okay. So I go to the water heater. And on the front, big sticker and everything, it's got an item number. It's the Lowe's item number. You type this item number in. It tells you everything about it. I type the item number in. And I was like, well, um, that one is... Uh, I say four ninety nine, right? Five hundred points. Four ninety nine. And he was like, "It's not reduced." And I was like, "No, nope, no, that one's not. Uh, that one's not banged up. That's just a return." And uh, he's like, "Oh well, you know, I'll take it off your hand. You don't have to put it up." Blah, blah. And I was like, "I don't feel like really getting into it with this guy." And I was like, "Here's the deal, man. If you take it now and I don't have to go put it up later with power equipment, I'll give you ten percent." And, uh, which is like, what, fucking 500 bucks? 50 bucks. That's pretty good. Yeah. Let me say 50 bucks on a fucking brand new, perfectly fine water here. I'm just too lazy to put up. And, uh, so he doesn't, he's not taking the deal. He's like, you do better. And I was like, no, no, it's going to be 10% or I'm going to put it up tonight. So he starts looking at the other water heaters and he's like, I don't think that one's 4.99. And I was like, okay, I don't give a fuck what you think. Um, he's like, that one's this one right here. Now, there's a different... You do have, like, multiple water heaters of the same size, right? So this was a natural gas 40-gallon water heater. 
The difference was the one he was looking at had a six-year warranty. The one down on the floor had a nine-year warranty. So six-year... Whoa, you came fast. Um, Something other. <laughs> the six-year warranty one was like 350 It's like a big difference, but 150 bucks different or something like that. So he's all like... He's like, no, it's this one. I want 10% off that price, off the 349 So it should be something closer to like 315 or whatever. And I was like, no, that's not the same one. And he's like, well, where is it? Where is the price on the shelf for that one? And I was like, well, that one, this one, because it's a nine-year warranty one and it's so expensive, doesn't get stocked on the shelf. Um, oh, my God, I didn't know my rubric at the clinic. Holy shit. Uh... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Fucking, uh, Avena's like, wake me up when this motherfucker stops sipping over a water heater. I want the drama. <laughs> and then you, you cut out. All right, I'm getting to it. So, drama part only. I'm, all right, so the guy starts getting upset because he thinks it's a water heater that it's not. And I'm telling him it's not. And I'm getting, you know, I'm like, you, it's that's not the water heater. Point to me where the label is for that water heater. I said, well, it's not on the shelf because it doesn't sell that much. We keep it in top stock unless someone wants it, and I'll pull it down. It doesn't get, like, stored on the shelf. There's no price tag made for it. And uh, he's like, no, 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 you got to point to something on the shelf. I need a price. And I was like, I gave you a price. It's the price to them. Goes back and forth. He wants the thing discounted to three fifty. and I'm telling him not to it. Then he gets in my face. Yeah, he's a fucking old fucking sweaty guy. And he starts getting in my face and he's heated. He I mean blood vessel popping out of his fucking forehead. I mean he's bright red. He's ready to punch me. I'm ready. I'm like, let's go, buddy. Like I'm not gonna be aggressive. And, you know, I didn't I didn't ball my fists up or anything getting ready. I was like, I'm gonna leave it a hundred percent up to this guy. I'm gonna be as non threatening as possible. So I had my hands down to my sides. I didn't smirk or nothing. I really wanted to. But he gets in my face, this smelly motherfucker, and just stares me down. And he's breathing hard. He's pissed. He's, yeah, he's breathing. I mean, I, his nose is flaring up. He's getting livid. And he's just like, could you give me that water heater for that? I said, I'm not. As, like, cool as calm as could be. And uh, he takes a step towards me. I thought he was going to hit me. I was going to let him hit me completely because I didn't want to lose my job over nothing. So I was like, if I get hit first and I didn't do anything, I didn't even try to start a fight. I just said, I'm not going to do what he wants me to do. And he hits me first. I'm going to let the motherfucker out right afterwards. But I'm not going to lose my job because I didn't start anything. It'd and uh, luckily, <laughs> yeah, I'm giving myself all the advantages. And uh, luckily... For him. For and him. for me, maybe. I don't know. But I don't know. He probably he could have whipped my ass. There's a good chance. Like, he was an older guy, but he was a, a big guy, too. And, like, I'm a big guy, too. But, like, I don't know. But he had some guy with him. Some, like, his assistant or some Some helper guy. And the helper guy, like, grabbed him. And, like, got real in his face. And he was like, you really going to do this right now? You going to be stupid right now in this store? And the guy started, like, calming down. And uh, I just walked away. And they walked away. And I was, uh... I was like, yeah, motherfucker. Walk away. You ain't getting that water here. And uh, he came back, and he uh, he talked to a manager, and he bought that water heater for exactly what I said he was going to buy it for. Fuck yeah. Yeah, fuck. Because he wanted it. He wanted, he wanted that particular one. He just didn't want to pay the fucking price for it. So I talked to my the manager after that, and uh, yeah. They were like, oh, yeah, he bought it. I was like, I bet he did. I got one more quick one. I'll I'll save the details because so, I'll probably be getting off after this. Real quick, uh, yeah. Rio said he enjoys the story, and Amanda's like, boring, two out of three, wanted to fight, they should have fought, <laughs> <laughs> two of the three wanted to fight, they should have fought. Yeah, well, I didn't, want to lose I didn't really want to fight, but I wasn't <laughs> just going to let some dude be a dick to me. Mm, storytelling. Fuck, I can't remember what the, this, this was going to be a quick one, too. Hold on. Good job, bro. We're proud of you. Fucking fucked with me now. I can't remember shit. Who, me? No. Chat. Fuck chat. They do nothing but confuse me and make fun of me. Ah, oh, first time? Yeah. 
I wish. Hmm. Oh! Here's one where I had words with the manager. So, uh, we sold special order vanities, custom order stuff, blah, blah, blah. We sold one of that entire collection in the store, particular size, color, everything, in the stores for a certain price. But it was kind of an example piece. It was like, hey, you could buy this particular one, or we'll, we'll display it and, and, and sell it, or you can buy anything else from that collection, and we'll special order it, and the price really doesn't change that much, unless you get a bigger size or something. And, uh, you know, it was a good hit. I, spe I was doing special orders every week for them. Well, we had a promotion going. It was a, There was a sign on the display of the one that we did have in store, with all the other options, you know, on, in, behind it. Um... And, but the promotion was only for the special order ones. It was not for that in-stock one. The in-stock one was full price. Well, this woman comes by, and uh, I'm doing my thing at my desk. And uh, I'm just going to end the game, but I'm going to keep in the title menu for a minute. Sounds good. And uh, she says, um, if I buy this vanity, do I get it for this price? And I told her, no, that one, that's for special order vanities. It says right there. She's like, well, it says Scott Living. Uh, and that's Scott Living. And I was like, yeah, it's the same brand, but it's not, it, you know, the same deal. And uh, she's like, well, I, I, I want it for, I want one for that price. I was like, well, no. no. And then, um, go back and forth with her. I tell her why it's not. She said, well, the sign's on the product. And I said, yes, because the product is advertising the rest of the collection. The whole display is the collection. We just have one product as an example. And we go back and forth. Sure. I want a manager. All right. So I call a manager. And uh, let's call him Ted. Right. And uh, so Ted comes by. And I've been arguing with this lady for a while now. Like 10, 15 minutes. And uh, Ted comes over. And he's like, what's going on? And I explain. I was like, she found that, this, you know, the sign. And she thinks she's going to get it off that vanity right there. And uh, he turned to me. He's like, well, why don't you just give her the discount? What the fuck? And I was like, what the fuck do you mean? Why don't I just give her the discount? I was like, because it it doesn't apply. It's not the same product. And he's like, well, I don't want to deal with this. And I was like, it's your job to deal with this. This is why I called you. And uh, he's like, I don't want to argue. With it. Just give her the discount. And I was like, it's a big discount for nothing. And uh, he was like, I'm just, no. He's like, I'm, just, I'm, I'm out of here. Give her the discount. Don't call me yet. And I was like, all right, then I want a fridge for that price. And he's like, what, what the fuck, what do you mean? And I was like, because if we're just allowed to apply any discount to any product for any reason, I want a fridge for this price. And uh, he gets all huffy and walks away. And I go over to the woman, and, and you know, fuck it, I, my hands are tied. Manager said I could, I had to. So I go over, I'm like, all right, we'll give you the discount. He's like, okay. So she hands me a receipt. I'm like, what the fuck are you... I thought we were about to load up a vanity and go, you know, like I was going to sell her this vanity. No, mm -hmm. she it wanted a discount on this vanity that she bought four months ago. What? She wants the bitch. discount now for the promotion that's happening now on a vanity she bought four months ago that doesn't qualify for the promotion. I was oh like, oh my God. You, I, I, I was, I was like. I was smiling at this point. I didn't give a fuck. I was like, okay, <laughs> wow, all right. Here's the deal. I I don't have like you gotta go to a cash register for something like that. You want like a, like money back? You gotta go to customer service. And if they ask anything, I can't. I don't have the power to make this. Uh, you gotta you gotta have them call Ted. Ted's gonna have to come back down and and deal with that one. And uh, yeah. So she went down. And fucking they call Ted. Ted goes down, he's raising a fuss. He comes back to me. He's like, why did fuck, you couldn't just go down? I could technically have done that. I could have gone to customer service and done that. I had the power. I wasn't going to. And, Absolutely uh, not. Fuck that. Yeah, bitch. he was and like, fuck that, uh, and I was like, bro, it was four months ago. And he's like, it doesn't matter. We don't have time to deal with every customer complaint like that. And I was like, well, you just lost like fucking 300 bucks on something stupid, man. Like, what the fuck? How are you supposed to profit when you lose money on nothing? If you don't fight back, these guys fucking walk all over you all the goddamn time. And uh, me and him, you know, we exchanged more words, and uh, we ended up okay after that. Like we, I think at one point he admitted I was right. He just it was a shitty day for him, and I was like, I get it, but like, fucking not my favorite day either. Yeah. God. I got a whole bunch more, but obviously. Damn.
But uh, yeah. real quick, not, not Amanda now. said right to Roberto's comment about storytelling. Um, this is my favorite segment when we sit down and share stories. <laughs> Hell yeah. I guess stories. stories. But I gotta go because I got some shit to get done for. Alrighty, my I have company over. The stream went a, 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 about as long as I wanted it to. I was ha I'm was happy with three hours. I'd yeah. keep going if I could, but I got shit to get done. Yeah, if it wasn't for fucking my stream dying and then all those other shit. Yeah, it definitely would have kept going. Yeah. Uh, that being said, I might try out playing or working on um, OBS later, so I might see about streaming a little bit just to try that stuff out. But um, yeah, I'll talk to everybody later. Thanks for coming. Yeah, buddy. Peace out. Bye. Oh, ow, my shoulder. Hell yeah.